gold scams are everywhere right now. This is one of the biggest ones I am seeing pretty much every single place I go. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about one of the biggest scams I've been seeing around here. Pretty much almost every single place I go, every auction, flea markets, even some garage sales, I've had people tell me this is going on. What we are seeing everywhere are bracelets marked 14 karat gold constantly. Every single place that we go now, all over the place, especially at live auctions and things like that. They'll look good, they'll feel right, they'll be well plated in the whole works, or at least they look like they are. But if you check them out closely, what you'll find out is most of them are fake and they're going for good money they're also putting some of these fake items in with bags with a few pieces of real gold so if you check out the lot you'll find a couple that are real that are good gold and then you'll see a bunch of other ones that are marked 14 karat gold but to the end of the day there may only be one or two little pieces in there that are actually solid gold and worth it the biggest way to tell obviously if something is gold is with a magnet now, I'd recommend either a rare earth magnet or something really powerful like that. Now, what I use, and I've used these for years, is a hard drive magnet from a computer hard drive. When a hard drive dies or I buy some equipment in a big lot or something, I usually yank out a few more of these. I use these all the time. These are extremely powerful, and they stick to my keychain, so I can always have this in my pocket. never gets lost. It goes wherever I go. Easiest way, though, to tell, just take a necklace, a chain, whatever the case may be, and hold up the magnet to it and what happens is you can easily see that the magnet goes right to the piece like that so it is not gold same with this one here it only takes a very small amount of magnetic material in these to be able to be attracted to a powerful magnet like this so what you'll see is every one of these is drawn to it. every one of these is also marked 14 karat gold and not just on the clasp itself some of these are actually marked on part of the chain itself this one's extremely obvious as you can see so just use a magnet to start off with now you're also going to find some that can be fooled by the magnet because they're not using magnetic metal to make these out of it so they're using other substances that you just can't tell now, if I don't know, I don't sink any money into something to begin with. But I do buy a lot of junk jewelry bags for really reasonable amount of money. And usually we can sell a ton of the pieces of vintage jewelry to make enough up from it. So it's not a big ordeal. You will find a ton of 14 karat gold items thrown into those sorts of bags. Almost every one I have ever got, I found fake 14 karat gold chains and stuff in it. Obviously, those bags are put together by somebody. So you've always got to be diligent. Now, one other thing you can check out to find out if it is gold without taking it in someplace is to take a little torch to it, a little butane torch or a blowtorch if you happen to have one. That's what I do a lot. And the first thing you notice if you blowtorch a bracelet, a necklace, if it's not gold, it turns silver real quick. Not even like silver metal, but just silver in color. And all the gold just vanishes. Uh, the biggest part that's counterfeit on these are usually the clasps on here. And the clasps are usually what is marked on most of these. What they do is they will cast their own clasps, and what they'll do is replace the clasps on junk jewelry that's been plated pretty nice, that looks good anyway. So they can take a dollar purchase, a really cheap necklace, and put a cheap replacement clasp on it, and then pawn it off as something real. It's very easy to make clasps, even for the novice in many cases. These are molds to make wax castings to do lost wax cast jewelry. Spin cast, you can do the same thing. Anybody can get these nowadays. We buy and sell them even ourselves. And basically what you get when you buy one of these, it's a mold to make a wax cast of something. The mold itself has the 14 karat gold mark in it. So it already is marked that way. I can pour any metal into one of these I want, but it still is going to come out and say 14 karat. So don't ever pay attention to the marking specifically on it. It is not always the case. Another good example are the Tiffany bracelets and necklaces that say they're either silver or gold. A lot of those turn out to be fakes, copycats, because the name Tiffany is so well known. So you've got to be very diligent across it. Anybody can do lost wax casting in their backyard these days with a propane tank and a little torch, basically. You just buy the molds for it. So I'm extremely careful when I'm out there. 
When you torch the clasps, many times it will almost instantly deform. Sometimes they'll literally melt because they're being made out of pewter or some other really soft metal, trying the cheapest, easiest way for them to fake it. If you cast something in lead, you can do it real easily at home with almost no skills or tools because you can almost do it on a stove top because lead melts at a very low temperature. It just depends. You can surely do it with a propane grill. I've seen it myself for people who cast like fishing lures and things like that. So those are the ones you really got to be careful about. It's easy to gold plate at home as well. So once they cast the clasp in whatever metal they're using, you can gold plate it in a vat with just a very tiny minuscule amount amount of gold. It'll be just enough to fool somebody by the marking, the weight, and everything else about it. As I said, some of them will fool the magnet. They are not using magnetic materials anymore, so you can't always use the magnet. If I don't know, as I said, I don't have an acid test, I don't have a, a slip from a local person stating for sure that it is that I can check out, again, I don't buy it, and I wouldn't recommend anybody else just jumping on stuff without being able to test it a first before you buy it. The jewelry bags are one of the ones we get the most. I buy a lot of jewelry bags, big five pound lots of just gold colored jewelry. Many times I do find gold in there, but there's tons of pieces that are marked 14 karat, 10 karat, 12 karat. I've even seen 18 karat rings and things like that. It looked really good. But once you checked them out, tested them or took them in, they were not the real deal. I've gotten dozens and dozens of people saying the exact same thing. I've gotten photos sent to me. People have even sent us junk jewelry that they bought just to show us what's going around in their area. People have lost hundreds and hundreds of dollars from these sorts of scams. Now, these types of scams aren't just in jewelry. They're also in coins and bullion as well. I've got a very good friend that I've known for many, many years. He's bought tons of encased coins off of eBay and a few other sites. Now, I hooked him up with another friend of mine who's heavy into coins and knows his stuff. Some of the cases that he had that were marked like PSAs and stuff were fake. They were thicker than they should be. The biggest way to tell usually with the coins is they're thicker than they should be. So he usually checks the thickness first because to get the same weight as gold, because gold is one of the heaviest metals out there, you have to make it thicker to compensate for the fact that most other metals aren't going to be that heavy. So that's a good way to tell. And if you compare them to one you know that's real, many times you'll find that many of those may be fake that you find out, even the ones that are encased. It's not that hard anymore to do fake encased coins, especially when they're coming from overseas, China, or wherever else they are coming from. So you will find them. A good chunk of the coins he bought were fake. He had to go through eBay and go back and chase down all of his money. He lost thousands of dollars by trusting people and encased coins off of sites. And these are some people that had good feedback and lots of it. So maybe they were fooled as well. I don't know. The point of it is that it's everywhere. Now with bullion, like silver bars and gold bars, I have personally seen 10 ounce silver bars that were not silver. What people do nowadays is they'll drill out through the side of a 10 ounce bar most of the silver. They'll leave the hollow core. They'll fill it in with some lead in the middle or whatever metal they're using, and then they'll fill in some real silver on the outside and smooth and grind it back down so you can't even tell. The same, very same thing is being done with gold bars as well. They use a small little drill bit to drill out some of the gold. They'll fill it back in. They'll smooth out the edges, and you will never be able to tell they did it. So I have everything tested. I don't trust slabs if I don't know who I'm getting them from, just some random person. And even if I do get one that is slabbed, a coin, let's say, I'm going to check it out and have somebody else look at it, even the slabbed ones these days. It's hard to do paper and stuff and fake paper as much as the gold and the silver and things like that because the technology, the ability for people to cast things at home is all over the place. For a few hundred dollars, anybody can get a stovetop version of a melter that will melt silver and gold. A butane torch will do it even too in just a matter of a few minutes. So these are major issues you need to be leery of and pay attention to. And as I said, I know many people who lost hundreds and hundreds of dollars for simply trusting what their eyes showed them, the 14 karat gold marks, or the people telling them that it was real and it was not. There's a lot of stuff going on with the economy right now. People are hurting. There's a lot more con jobs going around. So you've got to be more careful now than ever before. This is the worst time for these sorts of scams. So anyway, Anyway, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
traditional rally set. Let's you. And with the deluxe summer rally set, you can actually. Intermediate or deluxe. Or you can get several sets and go. Oh. 